Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to one of the stocks with show plays today here. This is Cree. I called this trade late, actually, and I got a little bit of a late entry in it right before I was closing out the room. I just decided to do it because I really read the market to be lower today. So I felt that a lot of things were going to follow through to the downside, and Cree is one of them. And this is very late for me to be trading stuff. It's almost 3 o'clock, but, you know, every once in a while you do it. I have to pay attention here, though. I just want to see if this ends up continuing to break 32. Anyways, let's take a look at it. Here, let's go back on the one. Now, I didn't do this early. I was looking for stuff then. I was looking for stuff to short because I saw the market. But you could have been very aggressive with Cree this morning. First drop, you could have been taking this and been all out. This was a nice trade in here. Boom. All out. I saw this break, then went back and looked at it later. I don't know if anyone in the room did this or not. Perfect entry was right in here, though, with a decent stop and a good risk to reward if it went to 32, which it basically has. I just want to see if it breaks it. I think there's a chance it could happen. There's still an hour left in the day here. And this is going nowhere but down. I mean, this is just nowhere but down. So my original move on Cree dream target dream target the day of the gap was 30 31 31 and and, and 30 wasn't even out of the question why because Cree can really rock and roll what it wants to short of that the day of the gap worked was a nice trade has followed through every day since again a wonderful amazing golden gap and look at the follow through the short in here this day of the gap could have done as a swing trade as a core trade whatever this isn't getting to 31 today I just want to try to get us as much chance as possible here, though. But it's really kind of close for the timing here. So I have to watch what I'm doing. But this is going to break 32. I don't know if it does today before 4 o'clock. I don't know if it does by tomorrow. This is not at the, well, this is at one of the swing trade targets. If we're swing trading this 32, really, it's gotten there. For a longer term target, though, again, 31.30, it's, it's not there yet. This is really, really nice. So it's so rare that I would take a trade late, but it was there. It was there. And it was a 15-minute setup, and it's valid. I'm allowed to do it. It, it was perfect. And, and it worked, okay? And actually, ever since the trade set up, it, you were never down in it. I mean, you just let it bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed. And there was an even an out here around 115 into 130 reversal time on the 15-minute. Again, when you choose to trade late, you have to really focus on what you're doing, which is what? Make sure you're watching where your stop is. Make sure you're not missing your exit. Make sure you lower your stop if you can. Because as the day goes on, things take longer to get places. And you don't want to miss your exit because something could go down, be hit right at it, and be done. Like in a millisecond, it could be done. Well, it's like that in the morning, too. And you also have to pay attention to the market. And I suggest if you don't know how to read the market well, which I actually do know how to read the market well, that you don't really trade the afternoon. You don't, you don't really trade after 10 o'clock, 10, 15, if you don't know how to read the market. But I'm lucky that I do, and I do because I read gaps. I was just talking to someone today. You know, it's one of these things where if you have a sound methodology that you can use to trade on a regular basis, you can apply it for many, many different things. I mean, the applications in something where you understand how to read the directional bias of something, which I do in gaps, are it's like a plethora of things you can do with it. And there's been so many examples of this lately, I just can't even name them all. I just can't even name them all. I, a Korean is one of them, though, all right? Just 100% conviction here. And I guess that's why I did the trade. And I was already in the soda anyways, so I figured I was going to be sitting here anyways. I don't know if I would have done this today if I wasn't already involved in a trade that was working. Probably not. But I was, so I decided to do this, too. And I knew if I didn't, I regret it. Beautiful dollar move here in the Korean. Nice, nice follow through. And we'll see where it goes here. It got an hour left of the day. Got to watch my timing. Very nice move in the clip Cree. Following through. It's going to continue. It's going to get to 31. It's going to get to 31, not necessarily today, but it's going to get there and possibly 30 uh, before it does anything else again. So another stock switch show play in here today. Nice read I did of the market. Tough, tough read of the market, but I read it extremely 
well today. And that's what gave me the conviction to do some of these late setups, which you can do. You can do. You can do if you see them. And this isn't really a number here, so I really think this continues. Yep, this is going to, ay, 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 ay. This is a 60 minute on this. Woo, look at that. Wow, what a, what a nice start to October. Boy, it's funny how a couple of really solid trades can really just make your day and your week. The Golden Gap course is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday. If you want to train and learn how to play gaps and learn how to do it all here with the gap system, with the 26-point rating system, rate the gap, take the entries, figure out the targets, the resistance, the support, all of the above, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone. Have a fantastic evening. I know that I will. <laughs> Have a good one.